Well, good morning. I'm going to show you how to do the CB pictures that I normally do. Um, I normally start off with um, the boards. And then I usually find a picture that I want. And I normally tape it onto the board. And then I go around the edge of it. And then when you take the paper off, you have the picture that you want. Of course, I outlined it, and that just gives me a rough rough draft of what I would like to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I make sure I got all my um, materials that I need. I picked out all the colors that I need for the snowman, which is green, red, orange, white, and of course, black but I don't have it right now, um, and pink. I have a cup for any of the uh, string that I have left over um, after I start beading. I have my glue, I have my toothpicks, I have the string that I us usually use, I have my tweezers, I have my little knife, my, not knife, but my scissors, you know, little baby scissors. I also have a little board that I put the glue on with the toothpick. Now, these pictures normally take me about 15 hours to do. Um, they range up to 15 hours, sometimes more. Um, so I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I do today. And that way you can see what I put into my pictures. Um, and then, you know, I usually go around the edges with the glue. And then I spread it out just a little bit. I don't like the two bumps. Um, and I just do, like the outlining of it, of the area that I want to work at. And after I get the picture all done, um, I let it sit for a day or so just to make sure it's all settled. Um, so anyways, um, I usually string up all my my beads beforehand just so that I have them and it makes it a lot easier instead of doing one at a time so I just lay the beads down and then you know I usually use my tweezers to help me guide it through I used to leave the string in around the edges but I find it a lot easier if I just pull the string out and then I can just go along the edges make sure I get the shape that I want it to be at or the shape that it's supposed to be at. And then I go around until the whole thing is all nice and filled up. And this will be probably one more video after this one to show how I do them. And um that video is going to be a little bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. The whole thing's going to have to be done. And then I can explain what I, what I have done. And, um, I just go with the flow. It's very relaxing to me. A lot of people ask about 
how do I get patience for it? In all honesty, I don't know. Um, I guess, if you will, I, call, I got my calling after my mom passed away in 2020. Um, and I was thinking about it for a few months. Um, and then I go around the edges and I lightly press them down too so they stay a little bit better. And um, since then, since like 2021, that's what I've done. I've gone around and did more sea beads. And like I said, it's very relaxing to me. And I enjoy this. And it's taught me a lot of patience, which I used to be very impatient about a lot of things. And, um, like I said, it, it's taught me a lot of patience and, you know, it, like I said, it relaxes me and it, it eases my mind, um, to know that, that I made something like this and I, I, like I said, I just enjoy it too much. Um, so I normally get in the next video, I will be talking about the picture frames that I use, um, the boards that I use as well. I used to use the ones at the dollar store, which this is actually one of them. It used to be the big, big boards and I, I used to cut them up to the sizes that I needed. Well, I found a place that will, that actually sells them the size that I need. Individuals. And they're a little bit thinner than this. Um, I forgot what kind, kind of boards these are called. But um, that's... Just makes it a lot easier um, of course I'm gonna go around this a little bit more straighten this out a little bit and um, see what I can do from there so so far when I go around the edges excuse my house I just moved so when I go around the edges that's what I have done for now and then I will go all the way around with the white and then I will get the rest of the colors done and um, when this is all done I will make another video and I will show you what I what I do thank you for watching